All right, like Gotham City after No Man's Land, like Metropolis after Brainiac destroys it, like the ex, uh, uh, ex Xavier's Institute for Mutants after it gets blown up by the Brotherhood. We are back, better than ever. We're rebuilding, and as you can see, we look, it looks great. Uh, you know, got to. I was. I wanted to do the reshelves anyway. You know, put it, make it look better, and it does. I think I like it. Uh, if you like it, let me know. And uh, we're back, and we're looking today at Wolverine, Volume Three. Oh, you want to see the statues too? Don't mind the mess. We still have some stuff that's uh, being worked on. Uh, yeah, those are posters that are drying, unfortunately. But looks good. Yeah, we we still got to work on it. But this side for sure looks nice. Oof, I love it. I love it. So I'm glad to be back, guys. I missed you. Listen, uh, distance makes the the distance makes the love. The, you know, you know. Yeah, and uh, you didn't know what to say. yeah, <laughs> distance makes the heart grow fonder. There we go. There we go. So I'm glad to be back. And today we're looking at Wolverine Volume Three. And uh, you know, this is we don't usually get a lot of uh, multiple DMs for books. This is we're actually getting two this week. We're getting this one and Ultimate Spider-Man Volume Two. So uh, let's take a look. This is the standard version. This is uh, the Jim Lee DM, which is my favorite. Love it, love it. And this is the Mark Silvestri DM, uh, which is also pretty cool. I just wish they would have picked a different one. Uh, he does some great work, and I don't think this one's the best one out of all of them. But, you know, I didn't choose it. But this Jim Lee one, ooh, baby. I'm telling you, this one's, this one's the one to go with. Uh, all right, so let's take a look. Okay, standard. Best DM of all. And a pretty close second with the Mark Silvestri. There you go. And let's take a look at the spines. So this is the uh, Mark Silvestri spine. Here is the Jim Lee DM spine. And then here is the standard. Very cool. And here is the back. All right. Very nice. Let's go ahead and look underneath. And this is like a spread of some of the panels on there, so that's pretty cool, and a little gradient going from like a green to a yellow, very cool. A little different from the other ones, but uh, you know what, different is, uh, is, is good sometimes, different is good. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it, and I'll tell you what's included into this. All right, so in this one, uh, we're going to be looking at Wolverine from 1988, number 31 through 59, Wolverine Bloody Choices, uh, Wolverine uh, Ref... Uh, Ranny, Ranny of Terra, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Hearts of Darkness, X-Men from 1991, number 4 through 7, and materials from Marvel Fanfare from 1982, number 54 and 55, and Marvel Comic Presents uh, 1988 from number uh, 85 through 108. Uh, so it, it's definitely that 80s right before it got into the 90s. Uh, Jim Lee was uh, doing some of those as well. Mark Silvestri, you can tell it's very much the 90s style, all that like detail on the hair. Like Wolverine had like, like it looks almost like he was beast, in the sense that he was very animalistic. Uh, and as you can see here, numbers in the bottom, very cool. This is of course are, are cut short because of the uh, format of the comics at that time. They were different, so, uh, but then it goes back to the bigger ones. And why did they do that? If you know, it's because they wanted to save money. And if they made the papers, the comics a little bit shorter, they could save money on it. But, of course, people didn't like it, so they went back. Uh, and, you know, I've, I'm, re I'm currently reading Ultimate X-Men, and that Wolverine is uh, it's not as wild, I would say, as this Wolverine, but his uh, Weapon X background is pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed that. And here, Ghost Rider here, Darkness, of course. And then this is when they team up with the Punisher, which I always, I always like their team ups. That's actually really cool. I don't know what's going on here, but oof! Can you imagine trying to sit down with all those spikes? Oh! All right. Nice. Uh, Nightcrawler is always really cool. All right, and this has quite a bit of pages. If you notice, we're already at one thousand one hundred sixty-five here, so. Uh, I'm not a fan of the yellow and uh, brown costume guys. If you are, let me know. I much prefer the blue and uh, yellow. My favorite or costume is the X Force X, one. Yes. That was really cool. The black and gray X Force one is uh, easily the coolest one out of all of them. And then and that includes all of the costumes for any of the X Force. Even Deadpool's is better with the black and gray. All right, let's take a look at the extras. So we got a little bit of afterwards, looks like there. That's too much. See, that's definitely all 90s right there. <laughs> 
All right. Very cool. So a lot of that. Let's take a look. Some of the covers. That one's really nice. A look, underwear models. Hey, JP, we need to do a calendar, underwear yeah. calendar for o, uh, OPB. It's only you and me. <laughs> I wonder if people would buy that. Let me know. That Here one's cool. A Top, hey, Top Gun number one fan. He'd buy 3,000 copies of each of us. All right, so there we go. So that is Wolverine Volume 3, guys. Get your copies of the three different covers that we have available at Organic Prize Books, and I will see you in the next one.